When I was a young girl, we lived in a little town called Bridge City, Texas, a town of about 2,000. And my dad opened a garage there. He was a mechanic. My mom worked in the garage, so they were always shuttling back to our house. We lived next door in a very modest two-bedroom, one-bath home. It was a very sweet home. When I was six years old, I had a problem with my hip socket and my femur. They just weren't working properly. I went into braces from my waist down on my legs. I was picked on, I was bullied, I was beat up. But my dad had a lot to do with me coming out of that. My dad took me over to the area where the batteries were. He said, son, he says, I'm gonna tell you something. He says, you see this battery right here? I said, of course. He says, you see on one corner there's a positive post, and on the other corner there's a negative post. That battery is no good without either one. They both work together. What I'm telling you, son, is that for every negative in your life, you look for the positive because that will get you charged up. And uh, I'll never forget that. As I was crippled, the doctors told my mother and father that this boy will never play sports. He suggested music. Well, long and short of that is, is that I really gravitated to it. I was writing music, and at the age of about 11, I started copywriting music. I paid all this myself, by the way, from working, selling uh, Christmas cards and newspapers and that kind of thing. To me, that was my first accomplishment because that gave me the confidence to do whatever I wanted to do. I really have lived the American dream. Formed a band when I was in college when I was a music major and recording our first record, which got into the top 100 nationally uh, right off the bat. I wanted to do more. I knew nothing about healthcare when I left the music business. The more I immersed myself into it, the more I loved it. I had a cardiac monitoring company and we de detected atrial fibrillation, which is the root cause of all heart disease. And we saved tons of lives. The satisfaction I got from that was absolutely incredible. I love giving. The ability to, uh, to start companies, to make money, that's, that's a, a means to the end, but the success part of it is what it does for your heart. Becoming a member of the Horatio Alger Association is so humbling. I'd like to think that I'll be able to give years of service to this organization and uh, make it even stronger. <laughs>